Throughout the past few years, I've been researching and keeping up with the trends of electric vehicles. I was impressed by the technology that was showcased on these huge extravagant events like Tesla's unveiling of the Cybertruck or the Ford F-150 Lightning. The COVID era saw billions of dollars pour into brand new speculative electric vehicle automakers, as well as legacy automakers like Ford or GM invest more money in electric vehicles. I created an entire channel covering brand new and speculative companies, but that was fall of 2020 and early 2021. The global economy has shifted and consumers buying preferences have changed. The super surge of excitement for electric vehicles has seemed to run out of juice. Over the past few years, we have been all subject to hundreds of electric vehicle commercials and advertisements telling us that EVs are the future, that they are better for the environment, that you'll look super cool driving a $60,000 car. Automakers have made huge bets in EVs, committing around $616 billion dollars of investment for EV cars over the next four years. While many of their claims are true and many consumers are loving their brand new EVs, there seems to be a huge disconnect here in consumers' wants and needs and the sale of electric vehicles as a whole. In this video, we're going to dive into the real reasons for electric vehicles' lackluster emergence and tackle the question, why hasn't the electric vehicle trend taken off as originally expected? Taking a look at customer preferences, more than half of consumers believe that electric vehicles are the future and are eventually gonna replace gas-powered cars. The tricky thing is, this alone hasn't made consumers make the switch. Unfortunately, in my opinion, and the opinion of many experts, EVs still have a massive barrier to breach and that is simply consumer sentiment. Let's take a look at some Pew Research data to get a better grasp on what exactly consumers are feeling. The survey was done earlier this year of 2023, and it had around 10,000 US adults provide their thoughts and their beliefs on electric vehicles. It's worth noting that around half of US adults express hesitancy in terms of buying an electric vehicle. The US government has even provided incentives in US consumers purchasing a brand new electric vehicle, around $5,000 to $7,500 in US tax credits. Electric vehicle sales now are around 8.5% of all new car sales in the United States. Although electric vehicles have seen a massive growth rate over the past few years, this growth rate isn't what analysts expected three years ago. It was supposed to be a lot higher than it is. We've actually seen a 7% decline in US adults' support for electric vehicles. Now, why is this? This is kind of a complex question. There's a lot of ways to look at this, but let's take a look at this data. There exists a notable divergence in public perception of electric vehicles here. While driving an EV might signal environmental conscientiousness to some, it's worth acknowledging that many Americans don't want anything to do with this association. They simply don't view green friendly as a positive thing to support. The data strongly indicates that individuals identifying as Republicans exhibit a significant reluctance towards adopting electric vehicles, with around 70% of them expressing hesitancy or an outright refusal to consider purchasing one. In my view, the overall public image of electric vehicles has entered a very complex phase. On one hand, they represent a move away from the dependency on fossil fuels, but it's apparent that they may be viewed unfavorably by a significant portion of Republican consumers, a demographic that comprises around half of the US population. This poses a considerable challenge for the EV industry. Perhaps the perception will change once government simmers public support for electric vehicles. Because history has shown us when you, the US government gets involved and they support a specific product or movement, you automatically create a huge opposition to that movement. Maybe that's something that we've seen. People simply don't want to be told what type of car to buy. 
they just want to buy it. Maybe it's time for electric vehicles to leave the political debate and enter a, well, more consumer-centric debate. For many US consumers, the plug-in at home capabilities or the slick new features are huge buyer incentives. Manufacturers of electric vehicles may find it beneficial to adjust their marketing strategies to resonate with, well, mostly all Americans. For widespread adoption of electric vehicles, at least in this decade, in my opinion, they must appeal to all Americans across the political and social spectrum. Diving a bit deeper into consumer preferences, many dealership owners are already stating that many buyers have an overwhelming anxiety when it comes to electric vehicles. Everyone is so used to going to the gas station, putting in the gas, but plugging in your electric vehicle might seem to be a daunting task. And it's something that people aren't comfortable with. And this consumer anxiety has created a higher turnover rate for electric vehicles. A Mercedes dealership noted that on average, gasoline powered vehicles take around 52 days to sell once they arrive on the lot. Electric vehicles, on the other hand, has take around 90 to 100 days to sell. That's about double the time. And it's risen over the past year. This is likely stemmed again to changing preferences in buyers according to a report by Global Mobility. The fully electric Ford F-150 Lightning saw enormous demand when it was first announced, and Ford noted that it had a huge backlog of three years. Well, those three years have now passed, and the company has stated that there has been a large decrease in the demand for the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning and all other electric vehicles that Ford has been manufacturing. Ford has instead taken the approach to build the hybrid models of the Ford F-150s and other models. We can take a look at the five stages of technology to tell us where exactly electric vehicles are going. Let's take a look at this five consumer segments of technology framework. This is a very popular framework in dealing with new technologies. First, we have the innovators. These are the first individuals to adopt the new technologies. They're usually risk takers and they're willing to try out new products. Then we have the early adopters. This group follows the innovators and tends to have a higher degree of social influence. They adopt new technologies before the majority of the population. And then we have the early majority. This segment represents the average consumer. They adopt new technologies and after they've been tried and tested by the innovators and early adopters, they're a lot more comfortable in getting those technologies. Then of course we have the late majority. Finally we have the laggards. The laggards are the last to adopt these new technologies. In terms of electric vehicles, they're currently in the transition from the early adopters to the early majority phase. This means that there has been an increase traction among innovators and early adopters. And it's starting to become more widely accepted by the general population that electric vehicles are the way to go. One of the toughest segments for electric vehicles to crack has really been the early majority. This is kind of where, where we're at right now. Many people are still speculative of electric vehicles. They're worried that the infrastructure is not there in place to drive an electric vehicle. They're worried of the public perception of electric vehicles and they're just worried about this new technology. Time will tell how long it takes for us to go from early majority to late majority. That's a big portion of the population right now. In large part, a huge reason why EVs have seen a huge decrease in sales and overall momentum is a huge portion of the population is still hesitant on EVs. They're hesitant on electric vehicles. Uh, the average price of electric vehicles was around $54,000 July of 2023. This is compared to gas powered cars, which were around $48,000. Tesla has even slashed their prices over the past few years here in an attempt to get more consumers to buy Tesla cars. The early adopters of electric vehicles came in droves at the sight of brand new EVs. It's one of the reasons that there was so much hype on Wall Street. Those first two stages were pretty easy for electric vehicles to crack. It can be noted that sales of electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids is around 12.3% in 2022. This grew around 2.7% from 2021. One of the major worries for consumers and the overall public perception of electric vehicles is the charging infrastructure problem. 
It's important to note that many Americans still don't have access to reliable EV plug-in technologies. Many Americans don't live in cities. As a matter of fact, many Americans still live in rural areas. It's a misconception that everyone lives in a city. That's not the case. Almost 20% of Americans still live in rural areas. Many of those areas do not have a significant EV infrastructure. Matter of fact, many of those places don't even have reliable internet or many Americans are aware of this, which forces them to second guess their decision. This can be seen as the road trip problem. There are a good bit of Americans who feel as if they cannot go on road trips or drive long distances without fearing that their electric vehicle is going to suddenly stop because they were unable to find an EV charger nearby. The road trip problem isn't a problem if you live in the city, but if you live in the outskirts or uh, the rural areas or even some suburbs, uh, you're out of luck. Electric vehicles could become a huge inconvenience for those people if they were to have them. We've seen huge government investments in EV plug-in technology. We've actually seen Tesla invest good bit of money in this technology as well to, to try to kind of increase the United States overall electric vehicle capabilities. But that's still going to take some time. This doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't even happen in a few years. It might take five to ten years for this EV infrastructure to fully be in place across the country. Overall, electric vehicles are a tremendous technology with many benefits. There's a huge market out there for electric vehicles as we've seen over the past few years. But like we've discussed throughout this video, there is still a huge stigma when it comes to electric vehicles. In order for the EV industry to fully take off, it's going to need to take away the stigma. It's going to need to make electric vehicles a lot more mainstream and normal to Americans. The EV infrastructure is going to need to improve. Prices will have to go down and the overall economy has to improve for car buyers. Time will tell if electric vehicles truly do take off. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think about the electric vehicle industry and if there's any thoughts that you have on your mind while you're watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, helps the channel grow. And like always, we'll be back with another video.